All right, welcome. I'm going to show you how to extract the uh, hashes from a Windows login attempt. So what I've got open here is Wireshark, and I've just opened a, um, a PCAP file that has the various exchanges of somebody trying to log in. And what I'm going to do here is just show you where all the different things are. So first thing I want you to do or you want to do up here is you're going to do SMB2. And of course you might have noticed already that all I've got in mine is SMB2 um, packets anyway. Uh, the first thing we're going to pull out of this thing is we're going to notice over in the session setups we got a couple of things. One of them says, interestingly, it says session setup response error status more processing required NTL MSSP challenge. That is the server challenge. So the server challenge is in here. The uh, response from the client is actually right here. So this has the user who's going to try to log in. And then this one has the actual sort of hashed password in it. Up here again, this is the server challenge. Here in this packet would be the hashed password. So to get to it, uh, first I want to just go quickly and we'll show you where the challenge is. I'm going to remove this bottom section because I don't actually need any of that stuff. I'm going to go make that go away. I'm going to expand my uh, the contents of my packet down here. And what I want is actually the very bottom thing. Notice I'm just going with the bottom. And I'm expanding everything out. And what we're looking for is the server challenge. And the server challenge is right here. Do you see where it says NTLM server challenge? I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to hit copy. You probably can't see that on your screen, but I'm copying and I'm choosing value. Okay. This is the value that I will put into my file for the NTLM service challenge. For the response, that is in the next file or the next packet down. So if I click on this packet, notice here we're already expanded down here. Here we're interested in the NTLM response. So I'm clicking on that right here. This is actually where we're going to find all of our, uh, most of our materials. But first I want you to notice here I have username and domain name. Those are also needed uh, in order to uh, get the hashes out. So here I'm going to expand the NTLM response. I'm going to expand NTLM v2 response, but this is the value I actually need. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to hit copy and I'm going to hit value. All right, now I've added a couple of windows here. I've added a top window. This top window here says the format of the hash file that I need. So each line in my file needs to look like this. Username, two colons, domain name, a colon, the NTLM server challenge, a colon, ND proof stream, another colon, and then the rest of the NTVLM, NTLM v2 response. In this next window down is where I will actually put the values that I'm going to extract out of here. And then down here is my the PCAP. So this is my Wireshark that just ran. So what I'm going to do first is I want the username. Remember I told you the username comes out of the response. So that's in this packet here where we've got user. I'm going to scroll down and I'm looking for username. I'm going to right click on the username. I'm going to copy the value and paste it into my hashes file. And here I need two colons. Next up I need the domain name. So I copy the value and I paste that in. Now I have one colon. Now we need NTLM server challenge. This is in the preceding packet where we say NTLM SSP underscore challenge. And what again I want is the NTLM server challenge. And where do we have it here? It's right there. NTLM server challenge. I'm going to right click, copy that value. And then I'm going to paste that in. NT proof string and the rest of the NTLM v2 response come out of my response packet again. So I'm going to go down here. This part comes actually before the domain name. So what I want is the NTLM v2 response. I'm going to copy this value. And when I paste it in, it's going to be massive. Okay. 
If you're using Windows Notepad, it will not word wrap, and so it will shoot off the end of the page. This is on, I'm on a Mac here, and the word wrap is on, and so I'm seeing this as if it's multiple things. But there should not be a carriage return here, so don't hit enter at any point in here. This should all be on one line. Now, what I need to do here is note, in the format we had NT proof string comes first, followed by a colon, then it says rest of NTLMv2 response. It's actually simpler than you might think. I'm just looking here. I can see NT proof string, A6A, yada, yada, yada. What I want to notice is this 7F34, that's where it ends. So I look up in here what I just pasted and I find my 7F34 and that's where the colon goes. So it should be the NT proof string, then a colon, and like I said, this is the rest of the NTLM V2 response. So that is very exciting. I can go ahead and extract all of them in here. Typically, by the way, you'll notice Wes appears here. Usually they'll have several logins by the same person. Um, I, in this situation, I had done multiple passwords and you might see, you know, there's different NT proof strings and um, NTLMv2 responses. So I, again, I can make my uh, multiple password attempts. So that again is where the files come from. And this hashes.txt file, once I save it, this is ready to be run in Hashcat uh, to attempt to crack the passwords. Thank you for listening and I hope you have good luck with your password extractions.